So what does this mean? It means that you need to have a con commitment and consistency. Uh, without commitment, you cannot start. Without consistency, you cannot finish. So there you are, a complete blueprint of how you need to see your future and prepare yourself. You know what, Eric? The best way is to let go of the past. The entry in the future requires force, which essentially means that people need to take experiences of the past and inspirations of today to enter the future. But instead, what happens is we get time-bound, stuck into our past, and we do not look ahead into the future. And do not, do not blame yourself for that. The way the mind is con conditioned is that it does not think beyond mediocrity. We like to keep the good memories of the past and uh, omit and eliminate the bad memories of the past because we have seen it, we have experienced it. And once we have experienced it, it's just like a, uh, you know, the videotape and you can play your favorite part and you can forget about the rest of the content on that videotape or a cassette or a CD or whatever it is. But in contrast, the future is uncertain. And those who are determined to build their future are the ones who will make a dent in the universe. You know what, Eric? This, this is something called mental conditioning, which actually comes from fulfillment from within through past experiences and then looking forward to the inspirations and, uh, and achieving those goals. Humans are extraordinary creation of the God. As Tony Robbins says that, uh, uh, you know, what humans are meant to do is phenomenal, but what they typically do is pretty disappointing uh, because they do not live up to their true potential. Mind is by default designed to make you comfortable within your skin and it keeps on telling the rest of the body to stay in the comfort zone. That's how it is conditioned. That's how it is designed over the course of time. That conditioning only gets stronger and stronger. But if we step out of our comfort zone, we challenge ourselves. There's going to be pain in the process. No doubt about this. There's going to be pain in the process, Eric. But once we uh, condition ourselves to the point that we will, have, we will build such a threshold that we'll be able to bear that pain. And in the process, we will learn. That is how all the successful people in the universe have become successful. And if you follow their footprints, we'll learn that they were able to go beyond the mediocrity of their mind. They were able to break the mental barriers of their mind. And they were able to get out of the comfort zone which actually allowed them to make decisions in their life, create a threshold to bear the pain. Um, they realized that uh, not every day is going to work in their favor, but they also realized that if there's a bad day, it's just one odd bad day. It does not mean a whole bad life. And, and those experiences, as they keep on fostering on those experiences, uh, not only they learn, but they also prepare themselves for what lies ahead. That's what future is all about. As Denzel Washington says in one of the speech that, you know, we are told in the universities that whatever we do, make sure we have something to fall back to. But instead, I would look, look for something to fall forward to. This way, I'll figure out what am I going to hit when I fall forward. So try to look into the future. Don't get chained by the past. Don't get... Uh, pulled by the gravity of the past, instead pulled by the future, which is promising only if you are determined to make it a promising future for yourself. And then uh, one last thing, Eric, we need to design our future instead of planning our future, because once we have got a preset plan and if things do not go away, you know, we get uh, time bounds stuck into vicious circle of, uh, you know, helplessness. Poverty, lack of support, inability to break those, uh, those, those, those barriers. But if we design our future, which essentially means that uh, the goal remains the same and then we've got a different course of action to achieve that goal. I think over a period of time, everybody would probably uh, get their fair piece of pie. But for you to see the future today requires you to dream.
And remember, Alec, dreams without goals are just dreams. So what does this mean? It means that you need to have a con commitment and consistency. Uh, without commitment, you cannot start. Without consistency, you cannot finish. So there you are, a complete blueprint of how you need to see your future and prepare yourself. But most importantly, it all starts from your brain and mind. Condition your mind to think beyond mediocrity. Challenge yourself. You are as big as you challenge yourself. And then over the process, uh, be mindful of the fact that uh, you'll experience pain, but start building that threshold that allows you to not only bear that pain, but also move forward. One last thing. Humans can do wonders. If a human can help other humans celebrate a feat that allows them to go to the surface of the moon, then, you know, the sky is the limit. Aim for the moon. They say you'll settle for the stars. But what is most important here is to understand. A bad day does not mean a bad life. Do not give up on yourself.